Okay guys, we're gonna jump right in. I already did my um, protective method with the stocking cap. Um, this is what will be cut off. We're gonna jump right into it. I had a long day yesterday and decided to wash my hair and just get a new style. So I am extremely exhausted, so this probably will be a voiceover. <laughs> But um, yes, I'm just going to cut this off, but after I finish laying the tracks, I'm going to be using my Loose Deep Wave hair from Dainty Tresses, Loose Deep Wave, and um, two packs, well, two bundles of the Loose Deep Wave, and yeah, we're going to get into it, so let me apply these tracks. So right here, I'm going to show you where I'm going to put my closure that I made. And I had some spaces in between. So I actually ended up using two whole bundles like I showed you in the beginning. I used the two of those. And this is my makeshift closure. I'm going to just pop some glue on. And then I'm going to insert it in the middle. But yeah, this was one and a half bundles as you see right now. And then I added uh, the other half bundle. So yeah. This hair is so pretty. This has nothing in it. This is just shampooed and deep conditioned. This is my Loose Deep Wave. It is a beautiful texture. Nothing is in this hair and it's just so pretty. I just cannot get over how pretty the texture is. It's just, I love this texture. So it's going to take me a little while to curl this hair because I was curling it in very small sections. So I'll be back to explain the next step.
going to start to cut the hair in sections as well. I wanted to curl it. This is very hard to do. I cut my finger actually when I was cutting it back because I couldn't see. But I love the razor because it just gives you those layers that you wouldn't get with a pair of scissors. So it was perfectly fine in the beginning. But once I got to the back, I cut my hand like I said. And no pain, no gain. My finger hurts right now doing the voiceover. But my curls and my hair are cute. I actually have it pin curls for the moment. But, um, yeah, it, it gives you, like, nice layers. And it doesn't cut too much off. But I'm going to go back and forth with both of them just to create the layers. So I'm going to just let you watch. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep cutting with the blade and the scissors. I knew I wanted a short pixie mushroom cut and I actually achieved it. I feel like using both of them gave me the look. So you'll see the razor in more videos to come. But I'm just gonna be more careful next time. I couldn't see it in the back when I was cutting it. That's how I cut my finger. But it's okay, please be careful if you're going to use the straight, the razor like me. Just it, It's going to be real cute. It's going to give you some cute little layers. But just be careful. So I'm going to just chop it up, chop it up, chop it up. And curl it up, chop it up, curl it up. So um, I feel like the voiceover part is finished because everything else is pretty much what you see is what you get. So, yeah.
So I kept tweaking the cyber into off camera and I actually fixed it, but I didn't record that part. I actually thought I was, but I was not. This comb is essential to just picking out the curls. So I'm just holding it on the tippy tippy end of the comb, like the rat tail part, and I'm just going to use it to fluff it out. When I curled it again after I cut it, I still was curling it in a spiral kind of curl, which was fine. But um, this was the first day and I was just trying to get the video done to actually like how it looks. But I feel like the next time when I'm doing my makeup, because I actually still didn't do any makeup doing this voiceover. So I don't even know if makeup's going to be included, baby. But I feel like I'm going to curl the hair a little differently. Um, I'm still going to do like the spiral curl. But the last row or the first row, if you're going from the bottom up, I'm going to curl that going up so that you can see more of my sides. And then the rest of the curls will still be in a spiral and I'm just going to pick it out because I feel like you can't really see my sides. So I want my sides to show a little bit more, but I don't want to lose any length. So if I go on live or if I do another video with this hair and I'm doing makeup, I'll just show you guys exactly what I'm doing. But pretty much the video is done. I love the curls. Super, super cute. I'm going to touch it up a little bit, but hopefully I add some makeup in if I don't. Please forgive me, just doing a whole bunch these few weeks, trying to get ready for the holiday with my site and things like that. So, your girl's working, so I'll hopefully I'm back to doing live soon. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys finish out the video and I will see you in my next one. is what I have. This curl is driving me crazy right here. So yeah, this is what the style is. I'm gonna probably go live or something and do some makeup and hopefully I can add a picture or two so you can see what it looks like with the makeup on. But I'm gonna fix this up. But for the most part, I like it. It's cute. It's different. It's my little curly little pixie I'm in love but until my next one and this was a dainty tresses production I forgot to say that I was tired earlier still tired but the work never stops dainty tresses production this is my loose deep wave and I'm gonna do some makeup and show you what the look looks like because you know you can't get the full effect without the makeup in my opinion so yeah i'm going to be back with some makeup in the next clip but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in my next one bye guys